React makes it super easy for us to bind event listener to an element. Now suppose we have a button inside our DOM. And when we click on this button, we want to trigger a function. For example, let's say I want to change the value of ABC when I click on this button. Let's create a function for that. I'll call it change ABC and inside the function body, we'll simply call the set ABC set a function to change the value of ABC to AAAAA. And now in order to bind this event listener to our button, we simply need to bind the function definition to the onClick attribute on the button. Now VS Code is pretty smart. You can see a whole list of auto completion in a drop down here that corresponds to different kinds of events where we can attach to this button. We're interested to the click event, so I'll use the onClick attribute here. And now I'll simply pass in our change ABC function and it should just work. Take note on the curly braces here. Remember what I said in the previous video, whenever we want to run JavaScript inside our DOM, we got to use the curly braces. We're passing in a function definition here and that's JavaScript code, therefore we need a pair of curly braces. Okay, now let's test our code. I'm going to comment out the set timeout that we have previously set up and let's click on a button. And we now see one to three change to AAA. Isn't that neat? It is that simple to bind an event listener into the DOM using React. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. We can bind an event listener directly to an element by passing the function definition using the curly braces notation. For example, to attach a click event listener, we can attach the function on the onClick attribute on the element. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. If you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.